Good morning, everybody. Hope everyone is doing okay, staying safe and well. I know you haven't heard from me for a while, but oh my goodness, so much going on behind the scenes. Um, but I have to thank everybody. My goodness, so many of you are sending me information, and um, I really appreciate it. And especially with so many Kingdom Halls going up for sale. And I also want to thank those who sent me elders letters this morning. Um, thank you Atlantis and Petra and Kingdom Hall Insider. They have all sent me the latest elders letter for April. And I'm going to be reading that. So I appreciate you guys taking risk and getting this information to us. And... Uh, I appreciate all of you behind the scenes who are helping um, with this watchtower property tracker you know for the properties my goodness I think everybody's going to be surprised when it does go public to see the amount of property and money and this is only the ones we know about how many have been sold that we know nothing about so I'm just been really busy and I know many of you have been calling and leaving messages and I'm sorry I just haven't been able to talk to anybody and you know answer you know the you know return your calls because I'm working really hard trying to get all of this so that we can get it done the weekend Easter weekend um, to go public with all of this and um, so anyway you know so I apologize I apologize and it's not that I you know don't want to talk to anybody and um, but I just can't right now because you know I just need every single minute so yes I'm drinking herbal tea again remember hot tea herbal tea immune booster good stuff hot Anyway, now getting to the elders letter. Like I said, thank you so much everybody who sent this for me. Now I'm going to read the one to the congregation first. This is dated April 1st, 2020. Announcement for the congregation. Read after the Watchtower study the week of March 30th. So they'll get this this weekend. 2020 convention. Many governmental authorities have restricted large gatherings due to the COVID-19 pandemic. In view of these circumstances, in order to provide encouragement to the worldwide brotherhood, the governing body recently approved a very special arrangement for the 2020 convention season. A pre-recorded convention program will be available in as many languages as possible. The speakers will feature all governing body members and their helpers who host JW Broadcasting monthly programs. This program will be posted on JW Broadcasting incre incrementally during the months of July and August. It will replace the JW Broadcasting monthly programs for these two months. So you'll get your convention. Depending on local circumstances at the time, some congregations may meet together to watch the sessions. In other cases, brothers and sisters can enjoy the program in private homes as small groups or individuals. In view of this, all previously scheduled regional and special conventions are being canceled for the 2020 convention season. We are confident the Worldwide Brotherhood will benefit from this unifying simultaneous simultaneous convention program from world headquarters no matter what the local situation proves to be at that time this is further proof that Jehovah is guiding his people during these critical last days no it's not most religions are doing this the Mormons did this two months ago they were going to be streaming their general assembly convention so it isn't Jehovah all right, read at your next midweek meeting. Donations to support theocratic activities. You guys knew this was coming, right? <laughs> this is no surprise. Thank you for your continued financial support of the Kingdom, Word lo Kingdom work locally and worldwide. I've had several emails of people getting texts from their elders 
on directions on how to use the online donation on JW.org. So they're still begging for money. How pathetic. I mean, this is the epitome of asinine. Millions of people are out of work and you're still begging for money? How low and pathetic can you be? Oh my God. Really? People are wondering how they're going to pay their bills and buy groceries and take care of their family? And you're begging the members for money? Use your $2.44 billion you've gotten over the past few years on your property. Oh, that just chaps my hide. Back to the letter. Sorry for the rant, guys. It, it, it just infuriates me that so many are out of work and they're begging for money. As a result of the COVID-19 outbreak, Kingdom Halls cannot be used for meetings, which limits opportunities to donate using the contribution boxes. However, we commend your desire to continue providing financial support for the worldwide work. Just sell some more Kingdom Halls for your congregation and for your circuit by using credit and debit cards, electronic fun funds transfers, mobile money accounts, or other electronic donation methods found on DonateJW.org if these are available. This shows your commendable spirit of generosity in the face of difficulties, restrictions, and economic hardships. Even if your personal circumstances will temporarily not allow you to donate as much as you have in the past, remember that Jehovah notices even the smallest of donations. How about taking care of your family first? He will bless your efforts to show appreciation for the support and direction he is providing through his organization. Feel free to contact the elders of the branch office if you need assistance with any of the electronic donation methods. But yet, ones who are out of work and maybe need groceries or money to pay their bills, where are the elders when those people need help? <laughs> Economic uncertainty, uncertainties will continue to plague us as we move deeper into the last days. Your generous spirit reflects your confidence in Jehovah's promise found at Hebrews 13.5 where he says, I will never leave you and I will never abandon you. Alright, now the one to the elders. For the attention of all elders. 2020 convention. Further direction regarding the convention invitation campaign and the local needs part typically held before the start of the campaign will be provided in due course. If you have already received your allotment of convention invitations, please refrain from including times and locations on the invitations until further direction is received. Congregation expenses. Oh, ay, 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 ay. The body of elders or the Kingdom Hall Operating Committee, if more than one congregation uses the Kingdom Hall, should determine if any Kingdom Hall expenses could be reduced during the COVID-19 outbreak, especially if the Kingdom Hall is not currently being used for congregation meetings. If more than one uh, congregation uses the Kingdom Hall, the Operating Committee may be able to recommend a lower monthly contribution amount to the congregations. The body of elders in each congregation should review the congregation's expenses and the donations that are being received. If needed, monthly received donations, such as those in support of Kingdom Hall and Assembly Hall construction worldwide or the global assistance arrangement, may be suspended. If despite all efforts, the publishers cannot su support the remaining expenses, please contact the service department for direction and assistance. See the subheading, Insufficient Funds in Instructions for Congregation Accounting. Number three, Theocratic Facilities and Congregation Records. Depending on local restrictions, you should take reasonable steps to verify periodically that the Kingdom Hall and other theocratic facilities are secure if they are not being used during the COVID-19 pandemic. If you believe that the Kingdom Hall is particularly vulnerable to theft or vandalism, you should take steps to protect congregation records. Yeah, protect those records. It may be necessary to secure, secure the files temporarily in the home of an elder. Wouldn't want those pedophile database records to get out, would you now? Contact the local 
Design Construction Department, LDC, you know, the land development company, if assistance is needed to secure the facility. Your Shepherd or Flock Book, Chapter 21, Paragraph 26. Memorial Discourse on JW Org and JW Stream. Now, I've heard that they've been having problems with JW Stream, that some um, the videos keep buffering and there's just so many on there that it's basically very glitchy and it's hard to get an actual talk. Um, those who are unable to attend in person or tie into a live observance of the memorial may watch a pre-recorded memorial discourse on JW.org or JW Stream. If publishers must view the pre-recorded discourse, please inform them that when the video shows a black screen, they should pause the video, read 1 Corinthians 11, 23-25, and say a prayer over each emblem before passing these to all those watching the recording. The prayer should be said whether it was possible for those of the other sheep to acquire suitable emblems or not. If a qualified baptized brother is not present, a baptized sister wearing a head covering can say the prayers and pass the emblems. Thereafter, the conclusion of the recorded talk can be viewed. Those having observed the memorial in this manner would appropriately be counted among those having attended this important occasion. Memorial emblems. As a reminder, memorial emblems should be available at each location if possible. However, it is understood that it may not be possible for some to acquire the emblems. Please inform such individuals that they do not need to put forth extraordinary efforts to acquire the emblems if no anointed ones will be present. Special Talk and Memorial Chairman. This year the announcements appearing in the document Special Talk Chairman and Memorial Chairman may be adjusted as needed. Local Needs Part for week of April 13th. Play the video Jehovah Cares for His Sheep. To access the video on JW.org, go to Library, JW Broadcasting, then Talks. Thereafter, review a few of the points on page 14 of the brochure, Return to Jehovah, and warmly encourage inactive ones to take the necessary steps to restore their relationship with Jehovah. The elder assigned the part may take up to 20 minutes. The length of the congregation Bible study should be adjusted accordingly. Please note that the branch relocation video update planned to be shown to the congregation during this local needs part has been postponed. For follow through by the coordinator of the body of elders, announcement for the congregation, ensure that the announcement regarding donations to support theocratic activities is read to the congregation at the next midweek meeting. Yet you got to make sure they know they have to keep donating whether they can afford it or not. Ensure that the announcement regarding the 2020 convention is read after the Watchtower study the week of March 30th, 2020. So that should be this weekend. So there you have it. That is the latest. And my goodness, my goodness. Now I know many are upset and there's a lot of anxiety and panic and you know I've mentioned before you know we need to just breathe breathe and I know even um, a lot of YouTube channels who have nothing to do with the XJW community are suggesting you know going out for walks and you know just realizing what is most important in your life and getting hobbies you know, just having something to do. Sitting at the computer or watching this fear porn is not doing anybody any good. And like I've said before, it breaks down your immune system. And try meditation. Just try meditation and just don't focus on negative. Focus on positive. And I'm not claiming to be a psychic or anything, but you just feel in the air that something is up. And even little tiny bits that we're getting in the news, there is something up. There, there's something beyond this pandemic that is happening behind the scenes. I don't know exactly what it is. And like I said, I'm not claiming to be a psychic, but you can just feel it in the air. 
you can just feel it for those of us who are empaths we feel this we know this so whatever happens in the near future just remember don't panic and we can all get through this together and I know they're even having advertisements saying that and it just appears that the world for the most part seems to be coming together you know we heard yesterday that Russia is sending a huge shipment of medical supplies to the United States since the United States has hit hardest now with the COVID and you know the news has tried to portray Russia and Putin as evil you know oh those evil Russians well then why would they be wanting to help American citizens because they're running out of respirators and medical equipment here in the United States it was really sad on the news last night they had a cancer patient and she has COVID-19 and she was told that if she goes to the hospital and if they have to choose between someone who's terminally ill with cancer and a healthy person of who gets the ventilator they will choose the healthy person and that's sad and I feel so sorry for the medical people that have to make these hard decisions I mean that that would be horrible and I would imagine that most of the medical behind the scenes you know they're already showing signs of PTSD and I know you know some of you think this isn't real and that this is just propaganda and that's fine you know that's fine but I do have friends who are in the medical community and they're scared um, they're anxious they're panicked themselves um, there's one I'm friends with she's a registered nurse and she's so afraid of bringing it home to her family and she's afraid to even hug her family because you know what if she has it so she says when she gets home she says you know everybody just stay back and she you know takes everything off and throws them in the wash machine and gets in the shower and she has to do that before she can even be around her family so this is really hard and um, you know we know it's hard to believe the news you know what's true and what isn't we just don't know all we know is from personal close by us experiences and um, so anyway we will all get through this and yes there are going to be deaths but every flu season has a lot of deaths and you know it's really sad it's really sad and you know don't be surprised by anything anything you hear you know the biggest thing is don't panic don't panic um, you know whatever happens it, it's not worth committing suicide over or being so stressed out that you just basically lose it and um, my daughter has been telling me about some post on Facebook and I, I'm concerned for some of these people because so many are so focused on all of this and they're just fearful because they don't know who to trust or anything so I think the biggest thing is we can all just stay home and try to remain calm and for those of us that still believe pray um, because if nothing else the positive energy going out may help all of us get through this because I'm a firm believer in you know what you're putting out into the universe is what you will get back so I think everything will be okay and let's face it Easter spring it's a time of rebirth so who knows who knows that's all I'm gonna say about that so take care everyone and I hope you have a great week. Be safe, be careful, because as much love and positive energy that we're all trying to put out, there are those that are self-centered, selfish, being jerks, rude, hoarding, 
and just all around negative. The trolls are out in full force. And um, so my best advice is just try to deal with those negative, awful people the best you can. And, um, you know, just like, oh, well, you know, that's their choice. They're showing what type of person they are. So thank you, everyone, so much for everything. And you all have a great day. And you know we love you. Love and light. Bye.